Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to my latest video tutorial where we will dive into a creating modern line transition using just a few solid layers. This technique is super easy to follow so whether you're a seasoned pro or beginner you will be able to achieve amazing results. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future tutorial. And without wasting any more time let's jump straight into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus and I will do this final. Also, you can type your own text, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration 5 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's create our first solid layer, go right click, find here new solid layer, uh, let's rename this to solid 01, also 1920 by 1080 and then hit OK. Now select our solid layer, go here on our rectangle tool and just go double click to create our mask. We can also change color of our mask, let's do maybe a blue for this particular tutorial. You can see now boundaries of our mask are blue color, ok. Now open up this uh, option, this little triangle for our mask, then go to 1 seconds and 15 frames, set up our first keyframe for mask path, then go here to 0 frames and uh, double click on our mask and move it all the way to the left side. If you want to go on the right side, just do opposite animation. As you can see now we have this uh, basic animation, our two keyframes, uh, now grab them, if you can't find them just hit U to show all of our keyframes, grab them, hit F9, go to graph editor and let's draw a curve like this. If you can't find this uh, curve like so, go right click and you will find it here. And now in our finals when we hit 0 we have this cool solid animation. Okay. Our first effect that we're going to use is fill effect, hit here, then go here in the effects and preset. And if you can't find the effects and preset, just go window and you will find it here. Type here fill effect, drag and drop onto our solid layer. And for this particular tutorial, let's change color to maybe dark blue color. This is going to be our first color. Hit OK, close this effects control for now. Then duplicate this solid 01, go edit and then Duplicate, also you can go uh, Ctrl plus D, shortcut, move this solid O2, let's rename it, solid O2, maybe around 3 frames ahead, like so, hit F3 to change color, let's do brighter blue color maybe for this one, like so, hit OK, and then also duplicate this solid O2 once again, let's rename it to solid O3, OK, and now move this uh, solid O3 to maybe 6 frames ahead, like this, and let's change our blue colors to even more brighter one. Hit OK, and now as you can see, when we hit 0 in our finals, we have this cool animation. This is going to be 6 frames, not 5 frames ahead, like this. And now this is looking really cool. Ok, our next step is to import our media here in our final composition. I already have my media 01. Just drag and drop here in our scene and then duplicate this solid O3, Control plus D once again, move it above our media 01 and let's rename this to matte. Ok, now hit here on media 01 and for the track mats uh, let's find here alpha matte. And now as you can see our animation is gonna be so cool looking and this is looking really really awesome. Also what you can do if you have image instead of this media, you can scale it, hit S, maybe go to around 115 like this, set up our first keyframe, then go to around 5 seconds or so and hit here 100. And now also we have this movement of our media 01, hit 0 and this is looking really awesome to me. Okay. Now let's select all of our layers, hit Ctrl plus A or select them all, go right click, find here pre-compose, let's rename this to slide 01, hit OK and also here in project window let's duplicate our slide 01, select them and then go edit and then duplicate and now drag and drop our slide 02 in our final composition, readjust our slide 2 to maybe around 2 or 3 seconds according to your needs, you can also change here colors of our uh, slide 02 just for easy recognition and also go here again in our slide 02 hit on our media 01 
then hit on our media O2 here in our project window, hold Alt while you're dragging our media 2 on top of our media O1. We're doing this because it's easier way to create our slide O2. Now close this uh, slide O2 and when we hit zero here in our finals, as you can see, we have this cool uh, slideshow of our slide O1 and our slide O2. You can also create transition from uh, right to left, up or down, everything depends on you. I have shown you this easy to create technique and I hope that you learned something new from this tutorial. Alright guys, uh, that was everything for today's video lesson, so play around with the options and parameters to achieve your desired results. Also this transition is highly useful and it can be applied in your own projects. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to hit that like button, also leave me a comment down below in the comment section and also subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video lessons. All the links are in description, so feel free to check out my portfolio pages and more. So until next time, stay creative and bye bye!